The sights, sounds, and game day of Mexico. Their fans are like no others. They argue, they, they're passionate about their baseball. Photographing fans there is terrific. I connected with my good friend Lorenzo Bundy, who at the time was a coach for the Miami Marlins. He coaches in Mexico during the winter. He let the owners know that I was going to be following his team around specifically. My goal for this trip was to document baseball in Mexico. Youth baseball, winter league, professional baseball. Part of Mexico I was shooting in uh, was Sinaloa, and the specific towns in Sinaloa were Hermosillo, Obregón, and Culiacán. One of the things I wanted to capture while I was there that I felt was unique was the uniforms that the players wear. The baseball uniforms have patches like all over them, almost like a, a race car driver's uniform. The guy smoking the cigar when I was shooting in Mexico was veteran scout Mike Brito. If you watch Dodgers on TV, you'll see him behind home plate with his famous radar gun and his fedora hat. And Mike is a legend. He discovered Fernando Valenzuela, Yasiel Puig. He sent 21 players to the majors in all. The mascot photo was the mascot for the Culiacan Tomateros. And uh, the mascot's name was Pollo Tomas. So Thomas the Chicken. And I wanted him to take his head off so I could do a little story of who is the man behind Pollo Tomas. It ends up that he proposed to his girlfriend wearing the uh, chicken costume. It was a little known fact about Oscar. The ballpark food is so authentic Mexico. There's these vendors that walk around with these wooden carts and push them along and all the hot sauce is lined up and the chips. You don't see that in any other ballpark, and it's very specific to Mexico. Road trips are long, and you really get the feeling for what these guys go through. I showed up when they were just loading on the bus, and everybody's putting their luggage underneath in their bags, and in one of the compartments, there was a bed, like, made, like, I'm like, what is that? Like, oh, well, that's where the other bus driver sleeps. If they have a second driver sleeping underneath, it means that they're on the bus for 15 hours. So it just shows you how hard it is for, for everybody. The reason I like to shoot youth baseball in all the places that I go, and specifically wanted to do it in Mexico on this trip, is it really gives the, the, the grassroots, the sights and sounds and feeling of where these legends are from. I feel like that photo, not only does it show it's Mexico with the sand, the sun, the lights, the color, but also it's also showing what I love about baseball. I think what many people love about baseball is it connects generations. And there is a father, son, coach, player sitting on the bench taking a breather. And I'd say it's my favorite. <laughs>